The finale of Friendship Games was basically a role reversal from the first movie. This time, it was Twilight who turned into a raging she-demon and Sunset Shimmer who set her straight. Granted, the Twilight we saw wasn't from the Pony World, but it is interesting to see just to what extent Sunset really has replaced Pony Twilight. In this movie, the same six elements were involved. However, the bearer of the element of magic seemed to be Sunset Shimmer. After all, it was Sunset who had that totally overused line. You know the one. The most important magic of all. The magic of friendship. Seriously though, that line's in like every movie. As I was saying, Sunset Shimmer has gone from one extreme to the other, Rainbow Rock serving as a transition. With each successive movie, Pony Twilight has played less and less of a role. She was barely in this one. And because of that, the human main six have become independent of her. On a side note, this is also Hasbro slowly weaning us away from the pony aspect of the story. With each successive movie, the actual ponies get less and less screen time. Anyway, Sunset is pretty much the element of magic now, which basically confirms the theory I came up with after Rainbow Rock. Not that Sunset is the 7th element of Harmony, but that she's the alternate 6th element of Magic. Here's a link to my full video on the subject. I think the whole alternate element of Magic theory also explains the ending. The purple spark which formed further away represents Twilight in the equestrian element of magic. The closer red spark represents Sunset Shimmer in the human world element of magic. While we're talking about the ending, I want to point out two more things. One is that the formation of the red spark occurs when the sun sets. Sunset. The purple one forms directly after, because Twilight comes after Sunset. The second thing I want to point out is how the light on the hills briefly forms what looks like a phoenix. Another reference to Sunset's reformation and my past is not today. Now every time one of these movies comes out, more and more pieces of the puzzle come together, giving me more to talk and theorize about. Friendship Games was certainly no exception. Much to my delight, the question of how magic works in Equestria has finally been brought up in the movies. Sunset has gained the same curiosity that kept me and other theorists asking. It reminds me of a line in the first movie. Pop quiz. What happens when you bring an element of harmony into an alternate world? You don't know? Seriously? No, we don't know. Tell us. Yeah, that was never really explained. The reason why simply putting on a crown resulted in this wasn't made clear in that movie, but that's why Friendship Games was so great. Well, one of the reasons. With Midnight Sparkle, we had a similar transformation. This second account told us so much about the first account, and how equestrian magic affects humans in general. But first, let's refer to Sunset Shimmer's transformation. In the original Equestria Girls movie, Sunset made it sound like her goal the entire time was to take over Equestria, you know, with an army of teenage zombies. However, I don't think this is the case. It's true that both accounts of transformation turned the character in question evil, but let's not stop at that. What do we mean by becoming evil? I really don't like that phrase because it's so vague. Evil is obviously a force in Equestria, but it has to have motive behind it, not just evil for the sake of evil. Fortunately enough, motive is what we saw in both cases. Sunset's motive was power, but before she became a demon, I don't think she would have resorted to mind control in a straight up battle, even if she could have. I'm not saying she didn't have bad intentions, but her demon's course of action was much more extreme than I think hers would have been. Twilight's account gives me a similar impression. I mean, she didn't just start wrecking things for fun, her motive was knowledge. She truly wanted to learn, to understand everything about magic. Destroying the human world is something non-demon Twilight wouldn't have even thought about doing, but her demon, that's a different story. When both of these girls transformed, they simply gained the power necessary to carry out their goals. And that is what I believe magic used incorrectly does to humans. It gives them a power so strong, it clouds out any sound judgment just to fulfill the goal of the person using it. Both instances of transformation were similar in quite a few ways. Although Twilight took a little pressuring, both willingly brought the magic upon themselves. However, once it started taking effect, they resisted. Both hated what they were becoming, but once it was complete, they forgot, suddenly happy with their forms. Their demons completely overshadowed their will. That's why Spike's puppy dog eyes helped to bring Twilight back. It reminded her of, well, herself, and made her hate what she had become. That's another big difference between these two. Sunset Shimmer didn't repent until after the main six took force, but Twilight willingly repented. Next off, let's transition into the magical side of this. It's important to note that both sources of magic were very different. One was the physical element of magic, and the other was the pendant that Twilight created. Putting on the element of magic instantly empowered Sunset Shimmer. This was not the magic of friendship though, possibly a corrupted version of it. My theory is that when the main six used the elements of harmony on Sunset Shimmer, all of that magic within her was turned into the magic of friendship. This may be why she bears the element of magic so well. Now onto Twilight's source of magic. Her pendant contained the magic of not one of the elements, like Sunset, but all of them. Instead of coming from six different people, Twilight took all of that magic in on herself. 
I suppose this would make her more powerful than Demon Sunset was. We didn't see Sunset tearing holes between dimensions, maybe that's because she couldn't. Remember, Sunset Shimmer was dependent on the portal. This adds up, because interdimensional interaction is something we've only seen beings with powerful magic accomplish, like Star Swirl or Discord. Star Swirl in Discord. What a funny connection. Anyway, I bet when Twilight released the magic, she was given much more power than Sunset. Well, Sunset the first time around. In this movie, Sunset Shimmer seemed to gain an equal and opposite force to that of Twilight. When Twilight used the pendant, it contained the magic individually stolen from each character. But when Sunset used the pendant, the magic came in from all of the elements at once. They were used in, keyword here, harmony. And much like how the elements express themselves through one individual, all the magic was properly channeled through Sunset. So the source of the magic is the same in both cases, but the difference is the harmony. That explains why the amount of magic she had was equal to Twilight, yet opposite in power. But what do you guys think? How do you feel about how Sunset has replaced Twilight, or my theory about how the transformations worked? Let me know in the comments. This is the Brony Notion, signing out until next time. Brohoof.